Dr. Richard Christensen served as director of behavioral health services for the Sulzbacher Center, where he counseled thousands of patients over the course of 15 years. Christensen was also a professor at the University of Florida College of Medicine. Channel 4's Ashley Harding spoke to the president and CEO of the Sulzbacher Center about what happened. She joins us live in studio. Ashley? Yes, Ethan. Cindy Funkhauser tells me Dr. C, as he was known, was on a mission trip with his wife. He was just out for a morning run when someone hit him with their car and left him. She tells me the driver has not been found, and not only did this happen on Thanksgiving, Funkhauser says it was also his 32nd wedding anniversary. Now, a family spokesperson told News for Jacks, even through their heartache, they take comfort in knowing Dr. C was doing one of the things he loved most, making a difference in the world. A helping hand, a listening ear, and an open heart. This is the way Dr. Richard Christensen is remembered by friends, co workers, and patients at the Soulsbacher Center here in Jacksonville. I, I just want the community to know that we have truly lost a hero. Cindy Funkhauser is president and CEO. She knew Dr. Christensen for 15 years and was proud to work beside him, both as a colleague and a friend. I have never ever met another person like him. Um, the compassion and care that he showed for homeless people, uh, for his patients was unparalleled. The compassion and love he showed wasn't limited to a building. Dr. Christensen was known for street psychiatry. He was there in the community, counseling even the most mentally ill. He did this through the center's HOPE team. He established the HOPE team, and that's a mobile unit, two mobile units, one downtown and one at the beach. And they're out in the woods and under the bridges and the underpasses. When he wasn't working around the clock with patients, Christensen took his knowledge to the classroom. He was a professor within the psychiatry department at the University of Florida School of Medicine. The university released this statement. We are privileged to have learned from him for so many years, and this tragic, untimely loss needs to be responded to with action. So Dr. Christensen's passion of caring for mentally ill persons experiencing homelessness will continue to bear fruit. Fortunately, he has been clear and outspoken about what he thought needs to be done. Over the next several days, grief counselors will be available at the Center for Patients and Staff. Funkhauser says the next few weeks will be hard. There's no denying the impact Dr. Christensen has had. And we will always miss him. Always miss him. And Dr. C was also a man of many accolades. Not only had he written numerous articles on the field of psychiatry, he was also honored this year with a Lifetime Achievement Award by Mental Health America of Northeast Florida. But his colleagues say he was always very humble. His focus was never on himself. It was always about the people he was serving.